Edie is going to share with us the basics of how to show an old English sheepdog. Not just how to present it in the ring, but the gear you need to show it and what's in her ringside bag. This is actually the puppy. The that was it. Yeah, this is yeah, this is the puppy puzzle puppy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's that, Raz. That's her. That is awesome. Raz, you grew up so pretty. Yeah. All right. I will be adding episodes showcasing the basics of handling specific breeds as I expand our grooming library. And of course, you get to learn what's in their ringside bag. So be sure to comment below on what you learned, like, and then of course, share this video with your friends, and then subscribe if you haven't already so that you can ring that little notification bell and not miss a single episode. Two questions I always try to ask is, what kind of lead is recommended for this particular breed and how should it be placed onto the dog? This side goes on the show side. Right, the left side. The left side. So it's like a P. Like a P. So that's the way you put it on. You put the, the, you put the collar just behind the ears. Totally very high up behind, okay. behind the ears. If you don't, if it goes down here lower, then they start choking. For an old English sheepdog, she recommends a snake chain that fits comfortably around the neck, along with your favorite paracord or kangaroo lead. Of course, I always recommend the beautifully blingy Lucky Leads from Paws and Tails. Nice. And, and I normally use a shorter leash. I okay. don't like these long leashes, so for me, these, these work better. Other people, they prefer longer ones, but you know, I just pre prefer those. Personal so. preference, but you definitely want to use the chain. Yeah, because these ones, they don't really uh, break the coat. Okay. They don't get tangled in there, they don't break coat. Okay. They slide easy, you know, so. Okay, nice. So you, you actually stack the rear, make sure that the hocks are straight. straight. Then you go to the front, put the the legs straight on the under the shoulders like this so now you see you should see pretty much a square yep she is actually pretty square. she is pretty square yeah, yeah i would say so now. yeah what is it that you are presenting when you are presenting to the judge on this breed? Like for me, I'm going to walk up with the head because it is a head breed. No, we just want, you, we want the square dog. You want the square, okay. Yeah, we just want the square, a square dog who is narrower here and broader in the rear. Well, at, at least that's what she is. You know, we, we, we really call it the pear shape. Okay. They have to be narrower here in the front than here. Okay, I see it. But I, see I can it. feel, you know, the, but what I found that if you feel the withers here and the, the point of shoulder here and compare it with the hip bones, the hip bones are really wide apart, which to me that's totally correct. Nice yep. emulation. Yep. Nice, nice hocks. She has a really, and she has a lot of muscle. She has a really big butt, which is really nice. So <clears throat> she's very short here, short loin. That's what we want. Just a raise over loin. You put your hand like this and go up like that, as you can see. Here. Okay. Yep. I see that. Right. That raise. Yep. Yeah. But this should be up to the elbows, which it, which it is. Then you know you look at the shoulder and the lay back of shoulders, and then yeah, if this little ladies here, so I use. Then we look at teeth. Beautiful so do you teeth. show the full bite or just no, the front? No, only just the front. Just the yeah, front. Just okay. Just the front. You know, and then they go, you go, feel the muscle here, you put your hand in here, like that you feel the stop, and here you feel the width, okay. the squareness of the head. So, so a judge is going to do all of that in the ring? Yes. Okay. That's what you do. Okay, and then the judge will say, take it down and back. Now Raz is just an eight-month-old puppy with not a ton of training, but I have to say I was pretty darn impressed with her down and back and her go-around. If your dog happens to gate with its head down, like Raz was trying to do, Edie has a tip for that too. We take this section here and we put it underneath here. Okay. So. So this is when the head is down. This is how you. The is that to try to keep the head up. Let's go. Let, let's try it. Come. Come. Much yeah, better. much better. Yes. Yeah. So that's how that how that's how that works. Now, how do you keep the chain from getting caught in the coat? Because that is a lot of coat. It doesn't. It, it just stays there. Because of the, this, because, because of the tight. Yeah, it of this, slides because of this one. Okay, so it's not going to get caught. Yeah, in the coat. It's, okay. it slides. Okay, cool. No, only does. So. 
Raz. You good look girl, so Raz. awesome. You're such a good puppy. What a rock star. Good girl. All right, last question. Sure. What is in your ringside bag for this breed? In my ringside bag? Yeah. There is a brush, a comb, my phone, <laughs> <laughs> a bottle of water. <laughs> do you bring any product? A pair of scissors, no. A pair of scissors, okay. No. All right. No, we do everything at the setup. We don't use any. No, I don't. Right. Know, I don't really use a lot of product. I don't. Right. Not, not really. Okay. Right. Just for the head, you know, to, to keep it right. up a little bit. But we have so much hair, and in general, such good coats. Right. That, when that you don't need you to. Only do this. But she, she just had a full right. bath. Right. So she's so, yeah, just gonna fluff it up and. Yeah, but, and when they have a full bath, they get their, their coat is a little softer. Very cool. But she has really, really yeah. good coat for it. Yeah, she does. Old. Wow, nice. I remember you as a baby. Yeah, it's an eight-week-old one. Yeah, now it, she's eight it, months. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Gosh. Raz is a total rock star, and I'm sure I am not alone in saying it's going to be awesome to see her in the ring once the dog shows kick back into gear post Arona. But until then, she's gonna rock the backyard and get in more training. <laughs>